When choosing the best hairstyle for your Shih Tzu, there are many factors that you should consider. Whether you groom your Shih Tzu yourself or hire a professional groomer, you will need to decide which haircut is best. The most important consideration is time. The amount of time needed for the Shih Tzu coat depends greatly on the length of coat that you plan for your Shih Tzu to have. The longer the coat, the more time you will need to maintain it. Dogs who keep full top knots will need their hair done daily to keep the top knot from getting tangled. This is usually done with at least three sections so as to prevent the ponytail from falling forward into the eyes. It is very important to have a grooming surface to work on your Shih Tzu. A grooming table is best with a non-slip surface. A ponytail tool can be used to keep the ponytail lying flat without flipping into the pet's eyes. You can even create pigtails. There are so many cute looks when you keep a longer top knot. The tassel top ponytail is cute as well. It is put up with one band gathering the entire top knot. Then once it is up, it is trimmed into a fan so that it never falls forward into the eyes. Bangs can be trimmed for those who prefer not to be bothered with the daily maintenance requirements of a long top knot. An energetic family lifestyle provides more outdoor activities. A Shih Tzu in this environment may need a shorter trim. This popular style is easy to maintain. It is short, but not too short. The length can be adjusted to suit your taste. Most commonly, a three or four blade is used on the trunk of the body. The legs are scissored and blended into the body. And the face is rounded. The ears and tail can be left long or trimmed. The best tools to maintain the coat are a universal slicker and a medium fine tooth comb. A good brushing every four to five days will suffice. Bathing should be done weekly, but also can be done every two weeks if needed. Busy professionals may choose a fun, fashionable style for their Shih Tzu that is easier to maintain than full coat. Each length of coat will require a different set of tools and routines to maintain the hair. This style is very pretty. The trunk of the body is typically trimmed with a snap-on comb such as a half inch or three quarter inch. You can also use a three blade or a five eighths HT. The legs are scissored full. The top knot tail and ears are typically kept long. The fuller coat requires daily brushing. The best tools to maintain this style are a universal slicker brush, a long pin slicker brush, and a medium wide tooth comb. You will also need a rat tail comb and bands for the top knot. Shih Tzus are amazing little dogs. Their personalities make them an endearing pet. They are incredibly intelligent, which has its pros and cons. The Shih Tzu will need a lifetime of grooming. Shorter styles will need a slicker brush, while the longest styles will require a pin brush. Mm -hmm. 
Top knot pillows are a must have if you plan to keep a ponytail on your Shih Tzu. Keeping a Shih Tzu in full coat is a labor of love. People who choose to keep a full coat are very dedicated pet parents who protect their dog's coat with every ounce of their being. These coats are easiest for me to keep if I do a light brushing daily along with tying up the top knot and then a full bath, conditioning, blow dry, and complete comb through every five days. Yes, you heard me right, every five days. The freestyle fusion trims are very fun. While they are easier to maintain than full coat, they still require daily maintenance. The chin hair is completely removed and trimmed. The characteristic oval mustache defines this style. The tools needed to maintain this style are a pen brush, a long pen slicker, a medium wide tooth comb, a rat tail comb, and bands for the top knot. These styles are trimmed very short on the entire trunk of the body using a four or five blade. While the legs, top knot, and ears are very long, the grooming should begin at the breeders long before the dog goes to its forever home. The first bath time experiences can make or break the dog's attitude about grooming, especially when it comes to having its face washed and cleaned. I cannot stress enough that you must plan a way to never get water in this breed's nose. Finding the right setup for washing the Shih Tzu is crucial. Some choose to keep their Shih Tzu in a body contour style basically clip down all over with short round faces. While these styles are easy to maintain, the dog still needs to be brushed and washed regularly. Shih Tzu puppies should start learning to be groomed as soon as they come to live with you. Whether you plan to have a professional groomer or not, it is important to start the training at home. Just gently brushing your Shih Tzu every day will train your puppy for the grooming process. You can use cotton pads dipped into a cup of warm water mixed with two drops of Johnson & Johnson Hypoallergenic Baby Shampoo to wash around the puppy's eyes daily. But remember, the puppy may be teething. Be careful how you hold the head. I use my hand in a C shape on the head. If your puppy doesn't accept this, you can train the dog to allow you to do this by separating the action from the grooming and simply train the hold. I do this by having the dog's favorite treats close by. I place the dog on a non-slip surface and secure the puppy with a groomer's harness. Paw mats are great for keeping the surface comfortable. Then, putting my hand into a C shape, I place my hand onto the dog's head, then pop a treat in the dog's mouth. After a few weeks of doing this three times once a day, I will add by putting a little pressure by sliding the skin back, tightening the loose skin over the dog's eyes. This is important as Shih Tzus have rolls of skin under the eyes that may deepen as the dog ages. This area may need shaving, washing, and combing, so the dog must be able to handle this hand action. Be sure to lavish praise on the puppy when finished regardless of how the puppy accepts the process. Another way to train your Shih Tzu for grooming is to gently file the puppy's nails daily with a salon board. I start with just one or two toes a day using the 180 grit side of a 180 grit, 100 grit nail file. Again, do this on a non-slip surface like a grooming table with the puppy properly secured. Ignore the screaming, flailing, and pulling if the puppy does this because you know the file doesn't hurt him. Praise the slightest attempt by the puppy for a calm attitude. Pop a favorite soft treat in the puppy's mouth, lavish him with praise, and play with him. Doing one or two nails a day for a few weeks, then move on to doing the whole foot, and keep working until you can do all four feet in one sitting without a fuss. Trust me, you will get there. I train Shih Tzus to lay their head in my hand. I try to never ever hold any dog by the beard. 
I train this by offering a cupped hand and praise the dog every time they lay their head in my hand by stopping the work and gently but firmly petting the top of the head. Every time they put the head firmly in my hand, I say the word yes with a happy tone. See my Shih Tzu styling blogs at GrowingSafer.com and my Shih Tzu grooming playlist on YouTube where you can see many of the styles that you see here performed. I also live stream at least 120 hours a month with tips, tricks, and techniques. I hope this video helps you decide which hairstyle is best for your Shih Tzu and your lifestyle. Let me know which style is your favorite in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss my next video. See you next time, guys. Bye.